Good morning, sisters. Um, I am coming live to you from Bali in the Swaga Suites in Chengdu. So uh, this morning is my last day in Bali. I have just been doing uh, two weeks through Indonesia, which has been um, running a sisterhood of surf retreat. Uh, lots of surfing, lots of movement, and I was gonna go for a surf this morning. However, I got really unwell a couple of days ago in Lombok. I was had really bad gastro, vomiting, you know, name it, everything was coming out of me. Um, and it really, really um, exhausted me. So I ended up sleeping a whole day. And even though the surf was really good this morning uh, in Chengdu, there was lots of people out. I decided to kind of listen to my body, go for a walk along the beach, um, see everyone else surfing. You know, even watching other people surf brings me so much joy. And yeah, I just sat on the beach, I had some breakfast, I said hello to some barley dogs, and I'm getting ready to fly, and I really thought, you know what, I'm gonna do a bit more mobility and stretching this morning, so I'm inviting you to do it with me. Um, so we're just gonna need a mat. I wish I actually had a yoga mat, because I'm on tiles, um, and I didn't pack it, but get yourself a mat, get yourself um, a comfortable position, and just a bit of movement for you. We're going to start just first of all in a um, child's pose. I can't talk this morning. Just in a child's pose. And we're just going to take that nice inhale. We're going to bring ourselves back. And I just want you to inhale through your nose. And just exhale. Just setting an intention to listen to your body this morning. Giving yourself permission to relax and to slow down without rush. I'm just going to do a little bit of a morning blitz, just 10 minutes. I'm going to get you to take another inhale through your nose and just exhale, let it completely go. All right, I'm gonna get you to bring yourself up for me. I'm gonna get you to lay down onto your stomach. So I just wanna get a little bit of movement through my spine before I go into a stretch. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring myself up into my S hook. You don't need too much room. I'm just rotating. So you're creating that S hook with your feet and just getting a little spinal rotation here. Back to center, you push yourself up and just rotate. And again, up. So I'm just warming up that spine. Up. We'll keep that going. We've got three more. Three. I've got to hop on a six hour flight this morning. So I thought, just listen to your body. Two more. Two. Last one. And coming up. And one. Beautiful. I'm actually going to come straight up into a um, hip flexor stretch. So push yourself up into a high plank. Come into a downward facing dog for a second. Walk out that dog. And slowly walk your feet in. And just hang here for a second. I just want you to take a big inhale through your nose. And just exhale, completely let it go. I'm gonna rock from side to side, just loose. Hang the head. And then just gently bring yourself up for me. Hope you can still see me. I didn't bring my GoPro stick, unfortunately. I'm rolling back. Let's just come back down to our knees. Um, I want to do a bit more uh, hip flexor and also spinal. So we're going to come with our right leg forward. Now I just want you to get that back knee back and bring yourself up for me. Stretching into that hip. Coming up. And then from here, we're gonna bring our opposite hand down. We're gonna rotate through our chest. 
and just look up nice and strong. My hips are actually quite sore at the moment. I think it's from str straddling my surfboard. So I want to move them this morning and then coming back down. From here, we're just going to gently open up through our hip. So I'm staying in the Swaga Suites, which is um, in Changu. It's right on the beachfront. Such a good position. Uh, we'll be bringing one of our retreats here in, in May and November for one night before we fly to Lombok. But yeah, if you're in Bali, this is definitely a good place to stay. It's right on the beach. Even if you've got kids, it's, got, it's a really good spot for families. It's S-W-A-R-G-A. And in no way am I affiliated with them. I just love to share my Bali travel. I've been traveling here for a long time and it's cool to come across these great spots and share that. Okay, well let's just bring that back. Let's swap sides. Coming into your other hip flexor. Feels so good. <laughs> Taking that deep breath in for me. And exhale. And then we're going to drop that opposite hand down and then reach up nice and tall. I'll give you a little tour with my GoPro afterwards. We're reaching up nice and tall. And again, just taking those inhales and exhales and just letting your body relax. Coming down, let's open up through that hip. So Chengu is obviously very busy these days compared to when I first started coming here. When I first came to Chengu, probably about 10 years ago, it was just like patches of land, you know, and some villas. And now it's, it's quite busy. And I still enjoy it. You know, one of the things I love about it is going down to the beach and there's bean bags and everyone's playing soccer, there's dogs, there's so many um, different cultures here. And the Balinese people are just beautiful. But my favorite place in Indonesia is Uluwatu, in Bali is Uluwatu. Okay, coming back. I'm actually gonna get you to tuck that knee back for me. We're gonna roll ourselves down onto our stomach. All right, we're gonna bring out our uh, right arm and I wanna make sure that, that this is in line. It's not away from you, it's not down below. Just directly in line with your chest. Coming elbow up on your fingertips. You're gonna push into the shoulder and you're gonna roll over. Head stays down. And just breathing into this. Relaxing your body, relaxing your mind. Breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. It just helps to relax and soften the breath. Let's swap sides now. Coming onto your tummy. Again, just making sure that that arm is directly in line, placing that shoulder on the ground, fingertips, and rolling over. Deep inhale through the nose. And exhale. Do one more inhale. 
and exhale. Alright, slowly coming back up to center. And we're going to bring ourselves into a four point kneel. I'm just going to do some cat cow just for your spinal this morning. Um, one of my favorite, very underrated, I reckon, the cat cow. That's so good. Alright, so just get yourself, making sure you're in that nice alignment. Fingertips from here. I'm going to get you to draw up through the belly button. Inhale. And as you exhale, just completely let it go, shutting down your eyes and just focusing on how this feels and not what it looks like. We'll do that again, drawing up through the belly button. And exhale, completely let it go, just sink into this stretch. Do that one more time, inhale. And exhale, completely let it go. Coming back up to neutral spine. We're going to do a bit of a, just a movement through our hips here. So we're going to come, I just might have to move forward a little bit. We're going to bring up our left leg. And all we're doing is just swinging it. I just want a bit of movement through my hip, my lower back and my glute this morning. Swinging it in. We'll do 10 on each side. Five, four, three, two, one more, and one. Coming in for me. We'll stop size. And we'll go out and in. One, two, you know, for the last couple of weeks, I have a um, very different routine, exercise routine. Normally at home, I'd be taking aerobics classes and strength. And just while traveling, you know, like my movements being surfing and walking and, and stuff. And obviously, we, we, we have been doing a lot of this type of mobility classes, but still different. But the body still feels really good, you know. Two, last one. And one. All right, let's just have a quick little pull down again. Stretch out. I'm gonna get you to take an inhale for me and just bring yourself up with your exhale. Coming up. I'm gonna get you to place your uh, right pinky on the ground. Thumb is facing up with your left hand pull back. So your pinky, thumb is up, stretching through. Oh, so good. And then we'll swap sides. Up big. Just remember it's about how it feels get the most out of the stress. Just really listen to your body. You don't have to be a pro at yoga or even Pilates just to get the benefits. You just gotta allow yourself to stretch and just enjoy that movement. Training with your body. Coming back up for me. I'm gonna roll over onto our back now. I'm gonna nearly finish this morning. Oh, take out my hair clip. <laughs> and from here, I'm just gonna bring our knees up to our chest. Just give them a little squeeze. We'll finish off with a little bit of breath work this morning. I'm just going to bring our knees across our body. So I, um, before coming to Bali, I started my surf apnea instructor training, which is um, five days of um, learning, I guess, surf hold downs and breath work. Um, 
Yeah, so I was able to complete three days. I got to finish the last two days when I get back in Australia in April. But this type of training has just been amazing for, um, I guess, just fear of being wiped out on a wave and realising we can actually hold our breath for a lot longer than what we think we can and also um, we can build up that those breath holds. So I'll do a little bit with you this morning, nothing major. I'm a soft side. It's really helped me because I was so scared of drowning um, and I love surfing. So I, I, it was holding me back you know, being so scared of being wiped out because I've had a couple of yucky wipeouts and I've always had this fear of drowning and to do the course myself, I did like a one day with the instructor and I loved it and then from there I was like, I want to become an instructor because I think it's so important for beginners just to learn that at the beginning of their surfing journey. Like you just, you would progress so much faster. And then we're just going to just come in. I want you to imagine someone's grabbing you from both ends and just stretching you out. Pulling you from both ends. And then we'll just bring ourselves up to center. We're just gonna roll around. All right, we'll just do this just for a couple of minutes. I'm nearly finished this morning. Crossing out your legs. So we're going to do um, a super ventilation breath. So it's a, try not to move your shoulders up and down. Just try to breathe in. It's gonna feel uncomfortable. And we're just gonna do something really small today, just 30 seconds worth. So it's a, so you're preparing your lungs. When I say rest or stop, we're gonna breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. Okay, try and do soft, nice big inhales, nice long exhales. All right, are you ready to try this with me? Ready, and let's go. Coming down your eyes and keep inhaling through your nose and out through your nose. breath now which is in through our nose and out through the mouth uh, like a pa let it all go I'm gonna do that for 30 seconds then I'm gonna get you to just hold your nose we're gonna hold it for 30 seconds at all if you feel like you need to breathe breathe okay this is just trying to train that breath having a little bit of discomfort and just shutting down your eyes all right, ready? So inhale through your nose and out through the mouth. Keep that going. Inhale through the nose and out through the mouth. Just keep that rhythm. When you're ready, I'm going to get you to hold your nose. We're going to take a deep inhale through the nose. I'm going to hold it for 30 seconds. Ready? Inhale.
letting go. Inhale and exhale. Shutting down your eyes here for me. And I want you to breathe in through your nose and out. And just come back to your nose breath for me. And out through your nose. Giving yourself permission to relax, to feel your body. And you're welcome to stay here. Tuning into your sounds. Just relaxing your mind. Knowing you're in control, stay calm. Taking this moment of calmness into your day. And this video is going to end in 30 seconds, and when it does, then just find yourself a space and shut down your eyes. And just continue to breathe in through your nose and out through your nose listening to the sounds around you, tuning into your body. Thank you for being here with me this morning, for finding your calm, for giving yourself permission to slow, for connecting with your mind, your body and your spirit. Staying relaxed, staying calm, and just keep breathing in through your nose. And now let your belly soften. No judgment. Honoring your body. Being proud of yourself. And finding that morning stillness. 